No, don't do it yet. We gotta wait till we get people back in this bitch. I'm gonna set her back. I know, now we gotta add everybody back in. That sucks. People are probably like, fuck out of here. That's why you gotta own your shit. You know? That's why you gotta own... That's why you gotta own everything. Because you got other companies that distribute your music and you're not in control. Fuck major labels. I, if, if, if I'm a young artist and I'm doing it, I'm, I'm gonna continue doing it by myself. Like, there's a lot of value to big labels and to major labels. They can add that radio kick. They can add that radio push. But again, we were in business with Priority Records. And we were duck down, but we didn't, we didn't outright... We weren't owning and funding these records, right? So we still had a partner. And that was back in 1996 or 97 when we put that OGC album out. And you can see from them cutting us off right now that they still had some control over what we were doing to this day. And that's fucked up. Like if you if you make your music and you can control it, I would say remain that way. Like you shouldn't have to go to anybody for clearance or permission or anything. Like it's your music. You created it. You should be able to do what you want with it. So we just ran through a couple of OTC records and whoever owns that priority catalog at this time, they cut us off. And they said that it wasn't a match. and But that's duck down music right there. That's not Priority Records or whoever bought that shit. That's duck down music right there. I'm tight right now. I'm going to have another drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I will say like that that's a good um, segue. Because up until that point, we went from Nervous Records to Priority Records. And then we lost our deal at Priority Records because Priority Records folded in the capital. And when they folded in the capital... We basically lost our deal. We were no longer funded by priority. So that's when Duck Down, at this era, at this point, 1999, this is when we truly became an independent label. All along, we thought we were Duck Down. We had t-shirts and we had um, stationery with our logo on it. And we put our logo on the video. It said Duck Down. But we didn't really own it. We didn't fund it up until that point. And you see that man behind me? That's Buckshot. And Buckshot came with a fury. And he said, um, no longer is that going to happen. So from that point, we went on and we became truly an independent label. And big up Mark Echo, who created that artwork right behind me. We went to our friend Mark Echo and we said, Mark, we're, we're getting ready to put out some music. Um, we need some help with the artwork. And Mark came up with this. But... This one probably is slept on by a lot of people. This album is called BDI Thug. This is 1999. And this one's called Follow with Pride. One of my favorites. Listen to these lyrics. They're relevant today. Buckshot rip the body apart. Come through with the lyrical art. Follow the spark. I'ma lead the line through the dark. Gather up the ganja, come aboard the ark. Like Noah, I'll show Noah. Up. Motherfucker, he ain't ready for this. Chop the steak and make it venomous. Stop the hissing, this is ridiculous. I'm about to get ready to bomb the shit. Raise the dogs with the heater in the arm for shit. Marijuana while you drive, feel the fogginess. Oh, I'm about to cause a war, a catamalistic. I see you, frog. I know you played it. Shit. At night, you hit the bang, bang. Fuck shot, it's just the witness bang, bang. You can see the glare as Follow with pride. This is before Instagram, before Twitter. Buck wasn't even, there was no social network. And Buck is already telling you to follow. Follow with pride. Noah, rewind that. No whole shit. We're not going to play the whole song. This first verse. Yo, Buckshot. Buckshot, rip the body apart. Come through with the lyrical art. Follow the spark. I'm going to lead the line through the dark. Gather up the ganja, come aboard the ark. Like Noah, I'll show up. 
motherfucker, he ain't ready for this. Chop the snake and make it venomous. Stop the hissing, this is ridiculous. I'm about to get ready to bomb the shit. Raise the dogs with the heater in the arm for shit. Marijuana while you drive, feel the fogginess. Oh, uh, I'm about to cause a war, a catabolistic thing. Feel this thing, shit at night, you hit the bang, bang. Fuck shot, it's just the witness bang bang. You can see the glare as the chain swing. Be the get up in the cipher of a chain gang on the chain. Watch me now, follow me now. Who can't release the leader and I'm sick now? Huh. Come straight for drinks. So coach you when you pay when you do you come to the gun. So we um we did that BDI Thug album on on a on a dis- distribution company called KTEL. We we were off a of priority and it was before any of our other deals. It was a label called KTEL and all they did was distribution and they offered us that distro deal and we put out that BDI Thug album. And I would I would recommend going back and listening to that BDI Thug album. There's incredible music on there. Buckshot on every album, on every song that he, he creates, there's gonna be a certain lyrical level. Buckshot is not gonna feed you any bullshit, right? Buck's is gonna feed you lyrics. So if you haven't heard BDI Thug, like go back and listen to that. And that led to the the next Black Moon album. And that album was also what was that, nineteen ninety nine? And this one was now, we set up an independent distribution deal with a label called Koch. Koch. A lot of people know Koch. There was Koch Records and there was Koch Distribution. And we finally, in 1999, figured it out that all we needed was distribution. We didn't need uh, labels money to produce our records. We didn't even need labels money to manufacture our records or to promote our records. So... This was a turning point. I know it, it might not be the labels that you or the records that you think of, but this record right here was a turning point for us in terms of how we put the music out for Duck Down. Um, this is one of my favorites off of this album and Big Up Busta Rhymes and this record right here. <laughs> We lost so many people. What up, Rick Rock? Alright, 
That's 99. And so we have One Foot Out the Door priority. We have mo one more album to give them, which was the OGC Empire Strikes Back. And again, to me, like I put my heart and soul into Empire Strikes Back and Strang and Dio and Louis. They were going all out. It's, it's fucked up because sometimes the artists become victims of the industry or the business. And OGC was kind of caught in the middle of priority folding into capital, losing the deal, but still having an album that they just created come out. Um, but for us, you know, we, we still had to like go out and promote and act like everything was the same as it was. But we knew that we were about to go into a whole new space as far as Duck Down was concerned. So this was actually the last album on Priority Records. And this was Empire Strikes Back. Uh, we made a record from OGC that was another one of my favorites called Bounce to the Ounce. Um, I just love the video and everything, the energy that they put into this record. So OGC, second album, Empire Strikes Back. Wall Street. Yeah, so that was Empire Strikes Back, um, Shoot to Kill. A lot of a lot of my favorites are on that album as well. Um, but that was the last one on Priority. And from that point forward, it really became an independent label. Uh, this was the first album that we put together when we did our deal, our distribution deal with Koch Records. And this one was from Bootcamp Click. And this one was from my man, Kurt Cazell, hit me with this beat. I sent it to everybody in BCC. Everybody said they loved the beat. And we went to my man, Dan the Man Studios and recorded this record called And So. Yeah. 
record was serious right there like that record didn't get his life right there so if you listen to text verse right text verse is energy text verse is hunger text verse is recognition and we didn't call any djs out in that record but there was a lot of fuckery going on in new york right at that time where if you weren't paying you weren't playing on the radio and there's a lot of artists that paid their dues that had helped the stations, you know, come to where they have gotten. And this record right here, would, to me, like Kirk Cazell, this beat, this production was fire. But peep what Tech is saying in the lyrics. It's a subtle jab of just like what was going on, not just during the times, but with radio and everything else at that moment. Play that record again. I get some back while I started. Open up some bug shot and just rap and retarded. I hate the life that I'm living. I need it. Don't believe me. Ask my wife and my children. See, I'm back on the street. Packing the heat. Roll these checks. People to crack in the street. Niggas like fuck crap. Rub crap to the beat. I'm like, I, I'll be back in the week. Listen, from day one, I had a bad start. The e mom stole me. I've been past long. I ain't glad I'm here from the break of the street. I want to blaze in heat. Blazing heat, the hazy street. Did a couple of months and came home. Thought about what I did. Did the same shit, I ain't come back home. Niggas like white gun at home. I don't know shit. I don't know. The stop continues. The motherfucking drama continues. Light, what up? What up, Light? And blew up the main topic. The separate boot can't click. Sunday ain't knocking. They ain't hopping. Ain't dropping the now topics. But listen, nigga, this is how I'm Chucky, whoop. I don't need a moment. When the poet talks, every blind leave the blind when the mind is lost. Find the force of action. Kirk Cazell made this beat. Ninth wonders to come. Kirk Cazell made this beat. Nigga, I'm hip hop like the backspin. Never change the fact that I did it back then. Way before the show began. Back when I was a rapper, I was rapping for ends. Stop crime, start a rock. Shook it! Shark crime and y'all can't get it back to your ribs. It's a big line between what I rap and I live. When you find late mind, I'm getting back. Don't let it get to the gun clap and shit. Plastic wrap back, smack you in the back of your wig. Ah, make it so you won't get back to your crib. Break your wrist, never scratch it, never wreck it again. Take the wrist, never skip when you'll attack again. Take the fifth, got the hammer, let it rest in your chin. And so you're thinking I'm the one like deadly. Test me, still will leave you resting. Can't take this. Oh. Alright, Noah's, Noah's fucking up as a DJ right now, but it's, it's a tough job. We're gonna keep it moving, keep it going. The total eclipse, uh -huh. Black Moon. Right Another one of my favorites. Come on. Come we did this with Knox yeah, yeah. down yeah. in VA. Uh -huh. Anything with string on it, I love. Yeah. But string and buck. <laughs> 25 years. Drew High in here. Yes, he was. Nothing 
game changes, pumping ranges. Y'all ain't doing nothing dangerous, cause I'm not a gun buster, more like a conspirer. Killer on your own, you still an admirer. And wanna know why we act this way? Really? Wanna find out we act this way? Act like you don't know. Who was there when Larry gave his black phone call? That's what you go for, mofo. I'm up in the street still getting the Larry Davis blast popo. Original gun clap for nigga. Who are you? Buck shot that rap for nigga. Pants, no box to show. Not a style for your block to know. I don't want to cock and blow, but she can get the cock and blow. I go, got to go, I so. Yeah, totally clips. That was Black Moon album. I mean, there's just so many, so many. Twenty five years. Like, how are we gonna cover everything? But from here, that was Knots, right? Knots was on a Black Moon album, and then we met a producer from Evil D, right? Because Evil D put me on. Evil D put me on. He said there's a group called Little Brother, and the producer of Little Brother is an incredible producer. This is Evil D telling me, and he said the producer's name was Ninth Wonder. So I reached out to Ninth Wonder. Just randomly gave him a call. Whatever the fuck was the email. It wasn't a text back then. And I connected with Ninth. And he said that he was a huge Duck Down fan. And he said, look, you want to record and work with us? Come down to North Carolina. And so we packed up the Duck Down van. Me, Buck, Tech Steel, Sean Price. And we went down to North Carolina. We went to Ninth Wonder's house. And we recorded three albums down there in about a two. We, we spent like two, three weeks at an extended stay hotel. Had a little kitchen in there. <laughs> it was tough on me, but I was down there. We the ducked down van, broke down on the way down there. We had to get new tires and put them on the van. But we got to North Carolina and we recorded three albums that would basically change the face of Duck Down uh, because of Ninth Wonder. So... I know Ninth is doing his own thing right now uh, on his own channel, but big up Ninth Wonder. I love you so much. Um, he showed nothing but love. It wasn't about money. It wasn't about anything but making music. And we went down there and we created this albums with Ninth, Crisis, Justice League, his whole unit. And this is the first record uh, called Chemistry between Ninth and Buck. Um, this is one of my favorites off that album, No Comparison. Listen up, listen up. Ain't no comparison to you, you know what I'm saying? There's only one me, there's only one me. Stick to what you do, you feel me? Stay original. Evil D is on the mix. Come on, kick it. Ain't no comparison, that's embarrassing. If you want to be like me, want to be the E-Y-E. If you try to see what I see, what I see, what I see. I'm the smallest dog in the corner when you back down. Got bit but never quit. I'm back strapped now. I'm the link to the car to fuck the crack now. Boy, you're in the case of blue trial and got the facts now. Now, set it down. I'm the hot water in your kettle now. And that's a video. We got too many to run through, so I think right about now, I don't even know the yeah, fuck man. we are. Yeah. Triple threat. <laughs> Get a 
flow, I'm no quitter, still bitter, getting sick of second feelings, now yeah, the ends don't figure how I miss you, see how my slider swither, you a five thrower, let me show you, rock a one figure, 20 at my car, you don't want us to come, get you, the ones you brung with you, hope you run your ones with your ass, that bet this gun get you, my life is unsisted, it won't be a pretty picture when it's drugs, my soul, don't tell them nothing, I want them to start something, I let them feel the pressure, what it's raining and crushing, see the fluid gushing out, some Bronx um no Nat is not she's not even here right now I'm at Noah's house Nat is somewhere naked in my house <laughs> triple threat ninth wonder Let's go. That was triple threat so that was all on that one trip down to north carolina and we recorded that at ninth wonders house like his apartment i say house it wouldn't even be doing it justice ninth is in the house now <laughs> but at the time we were in his apartment complex and we recorded that anybody that tells you how to record an album we recorded three albums down there basically in a closet I mean, I'm not even lying. I'll show you the pic. Follow my gram and you'll see we, we recorded that album in closets. Like, Ninth was sitting in the bedroom and the vocal booth was in the closet. And we created those three albums. And then again, big up Mark Echo, who created the Triple Threat artwork. Um, and that was a, a resurgence for us at that point. Those three albums were completely independent, were completely finally owned by us and distributed by just a distributor and we put those records out and that kind of launched the career for you know Sean Price and everything that followed so right after that we did an album from Bootcamp Click we got Rock back into the fold um, this album was called Last Stand and one of my favorites of this album was this one <laughs> Why, yo, why did I need Captain 
feel ill. Shot really well. I was an army base, so we shot it empty. Yeah. Play basketball. Yeah. Five three seven yeah. This video. We have you played a game of pickup. Yeah, I didn't pass the ball. You got it. Yeah, I got. I got a wrist one. We did the photo shoot on the same day. It was cold. No, it was Cover shot with yeah. I can be hardest, that's why I can rap and I break the nation's great vision. I was at the wax for who want beef for him for body will hear the board like your body is stretched out on the sauna on the floor. That's what a snitch get when he talk about what you saw to rock slide. I'm crushing your pride by surprise. I be I they they're telling me we're gonna cut this at eleven, so it's 25 years and two hours. Um, there's so many. Damn, like, we're going to skip a couple. I was going to play a Bodega Bams record. Big up Bodega Bams. Thank you for giving us that opportunity to distribute you. Um, put your music out. Um, I'm just looking. It was Wipe Off Your Smile by Rusty Jooks. Big up Rusty Jooks. Sean Price has so much love for Rusty and introduced us to Rusty. And he put out so many albums with us that, you know, thank you, incredible MC. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna bring it forward. It was so many albums, like damn. You know what I want to play from Ninth Wonder before we move on from the Ninth Era was um, Ninth and Buck. This is probably my favorite Ninth and Buck record. It was off the Formula album, Brand New Day. Just the energy. It wasn't the video. It was, this was the Smack DVD ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I love what Buck did with this right here. You know, Go ahead. The world, it's your boy Buck Shot represent Duck Down, the greatest entertainment source right now. You checking out? Now for cities, dipping and dodging traffic. They're like the guards, they light it up. My life is over. Listen, Buck is in my heart and match. Cause I pay my dues and I slay my crews back then. I shrek them. Something you've never seen. Buffing that evergreen. High off the world, I got me feeling like a Hold up, hold up, though. Hold up, hold up, hold up. See, 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 this, this, this irks me because these records aren't getting their due. It's like I'm just kind of brushing through these records, but feel the energy from Buck right here. Like, we didn't even start that record right. Like, it, it started on his second bar, it can't start on his second bar. Ninth Wonder, Buckshot, Brand New Day. Play that from the fucking top. In the world, it's your boy Buckshot, represent Duck Down, the greatest entertainment source right now. You checking out Smack Tool, you heard me? This is what we do, it. this is how we do it. Smack! Smack! Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, like that 2000 and now the Dipping and dodging traffic, they're like the guards, they light it up. My life is over, this is Buckley, so I'm on the match. Cause I pay my dues, and I slay my fools back, then I shrek them in.
Rock and roll. And then we can it's not a joke, neither. It's not a hook, neither. My own little poor guy. I'm not coat seavers. I got my shit together. Oh, you gotta just put the battery in my back. Alright, so look. I got Noah over here with three kids. He's tired. But light. Light, get the cupcakes, is telling me. Not not you get the cupcakes. I'm just saying light. It's telling me, like, like instead of rushing through this, we're going to do a part two next week. Because, you know what? 25 years can't get done in two hours. Um, who knows? I might even have a haircut by next week. But I'm going to end tonight. This is going to be the last one for tonight. And then we, we might even circle back a little bit next week. Um, this is off of... What album is this Dirt. off of? This is off of Dirt. So many people were mad at us for this artwork right here. <laughs> Yo, but you know what I say? Look, Alchemist, Alchemist hit me and was like, Drew, you guys have the dopest albums and the wackest artwork. Black Milk, when we made the Random Acts album, Black Milk told me that we could not be in charge of the artwork. <laughs> yeah, straight up. But I personally love this artwork because it's fucking incre it's the incredible rap team. So, and sh if, Sean went at, if Sean agreed, there's nothing that I could have told Sean we need to do this and Sean would have just listened to me. That's bullshit. Get the f like picture him me telling Sean what to he would have been like F O H. Okay, but he liked the idea. Rock hated the idea. I know if Rock is <laughs> watching somewhere he did not like this idea. But Help the Skelter Dirt, the incredible rap team. We came back. Damn, matching matching content shit again. I don't fuck everybody. That was duck down records. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Um we are going to end part one tonight on this record off of the incredible rap team. This was like what I said was the first rock group that um, Duck Down ever signed. It was a group called Special Education. We actually sent out a press release saying that we signed a rock group. And then not only did we send out the press release, but we got a cease and desist from another group called Special Education saying, oh, no, 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 my bad. We said it was special education on arts and crafts records. <laughs> and we got a cease and desist. I swear, I'm not making this up. We were just having fun. And we got a cease and desist from a label called Arts and Crafts Records saying that they own the trademark to Arts and Crafts Records. But nobody was going to step in the way of my first rock group. And this was called Rock and Roll Big Up Rick Cordero, who I did this video with. Um, it was during a Viking game versus Green Bay Packers, but we did it anyway. This is our last song for the night. We're going to come back with part two next week. Thank you, guys. I love you. Take it out with this, Noah. Incredible, amazing, unbelievable, yet mad basic, you caught in the matrix. David Blaine, Chris Angel, the mind freak. I weave and bang your shit, bang with the mind leak. It ain't the thing for the game to bang heaters. I keep my hands clean, bitch, call me the game leader. They call me the man to be chief and chief in a damn reaper. They have me thinking another language I can't teach ya. Right and round and around in your man's sneakers. Paul saying this shit goes to the damn preacher, but look, Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ, Burr, Burr. I'm Seth Low Dollar. He's stop that nice. record, stop that record. Hallelujah, holler back. Hallelujah. We got four minutes. So again, look at this fucking rock and roll group right here. <laughs> Yo, how how great were these dudes? Rock and roll. One more time, Rick Cordero, we filmed this video in a studio that was probably the size of an eight by eight foot room, but we made it work. I, I mean, the genius oh, of these guys, like fuck me and fuck Rick Cordero, but the genius of Rock and Rock to come up with this and make this rock and roll song of how they played off rock and roll artists and big up Ruckberg, Mark Ruckberg, Noah, everybody selling hot dogs in the back, merchandise, here we go. Fake tongue. It's the incredible, amazing, unbelievable, yet mad basic. You caught in the matrix. 
David Blaine, Chris Angel, the mind freak. I wave and bang your shit, bang with the mind leak. It ain't a thing for the gang to bang heaters. I keep my hands clean, bitch, call me the gang leader. They call me the man to achieve and chief in the damn reaper. They had me thinking another language I can't teach ya. Right and round and around in your man's sneakers. Have you a ball saying it should go to the damn preacher? But look, Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ. I'm Seth Low Dollar, he's just night. Second, the flow gon' do backwards, acrobatics, roller coaster flow, rope a dope blows, punchlines either open or broke your fucking up. Coast to coast to flow, toast from the show to host the flow. Bop, let them dead the hammer, nigga, let them niggas know. I poke the nose with an ice pick, fuck the resort, resort to violence, and not the little fucking guitar. Fuck it with all, all, all. You see, see, KK to your face. Insert the clip, pop, and spray. This is not hip hop, hooray. This is push rocks a block away from the spot cause it's hot, okay? Listen, Sean Price will deliver this small like all the ball versus little canard. Motherfucker, I ain't no Jim Carrey, but a little dog, and I can't get Jim Star. I will give him the ball, I'll split him in four. You should not sign, sign. Curly's Jack got clapped about nine times. Murder cats with the cat, you got nine lives. I got nine knives, I got ten max. Max tens clap them where your friends at. Oh, if I said your name, it's probably not an attack. Probably not, but it's probably a fact. Probably, you probably whack, probably crack, probably just that your shit. Rival my rap, plus I can do that. Mr. God, if you fat, like you say that I'm gay bash and I ain't talking to them. I'm talking to you when I scream faggots. You lame asses don't hate and it brain black in it. And more ways than one, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Noah and Fuckberg. <laughs> Noah, Noah. If you know me, if you know me, then you know I'm a fucking Viking fan. And that was played. We filmed that video on the first night of the NFL season. Traveris Jackson, rest in peace, was playing the Green Bay Packers. And uh, me and Noah missed that Viking game. We don't miss many Viking games, but we had to film that video. We taped it, and then I watched the Vikings lose to the Packers that night. Uh, but again, R.I.P. Travis Jackson of the Vikings. Anyway, that was part one. And that I'm going to do this part two. So that was part one. Took you through what year was that, Noah? That was probably... You don't probably know. Talk about probably... No probably around here. Let's see. Um... We 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 skipped a bunch. So, rock and roll, that was two thousand and eight. So we're gonna come back next week from two thousand and eight, and we're gonna wrap it up to two thousand and twenty. Twelve more years to go. <laughs> <laughs> you see what these years do. You see what these years do. But like I I I told you, it's so hard to pick these songs. Um, it's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Like I, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything but these gray hairs <laughs> and this hair and this beard to say that um, I had the chance to be there with these great MCs and to witness it. I love hip-hop. I love music. I love Duck Down. Big up Shucky. Big up James. Big up Maza. Noah. Shane. Uh, fucking Guy. Franz. The Duck Down staff. I'm Duck Down staff even when I'm by myself. Fab Five, even when I'm by myself. 
I'm Drew High even when I'm by myself. I'm Drew High even when I'm with this beer by myself. <laughs> um, big up Light, Logic, Damn, Buck, Tech Steel, Rock, Rock, Louis, D.O. Thank you guys for tuning in. And um, I, 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 I could sit here and tell you I'm going to give you another 25 more, but that's probably not likely. And um, it's just been an incredible experience. We're going to come back. I'm not going to say goodbye because... We're going to come back next week and do part two. This is part one of um, Duck Down 25 Year Anniversary. And if you give a fuck, then I give a fuck. And if you don't, at the end of the day, like Sean Price said, it's nighttime and peace. No, you're supposed to cut now. Cut, I said, yeah. I said peace. Uh-huh. I said peace. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>